Hi everybody, this is Tracy. Today I'd like to talk to you about a um, book that I'm, I've just picked up and I'm so excited but I'm also sad because I bought a workbook not knowing it's attached to a real book and my real book is on its way from Amazon. Um, it is How to Spot a Dangerous Man Workbook by Sandra Brown. Um, and I'm very excited to see the book when it gets here. But there's enough information in here that um, is kind of helping me understand. And I know for the men out there that you're going to look at this and go, what do you mean? How do you spot a dangerous woman? I didn't write the book. I'm just reading it and um, trying to understand the different types of and personalities of um, people that we have come in contact with. And um, she's got a list of well, about five or six different types of categories of men. And I'm just gonna read a little snippet of, of a few of them because um, I, I really encourage you to get this book and I, I am excited about the workbook because it's allowing me to um, create warning signs for myself, uh, past behaviors, what I have tolerated, what I have allowed, and um, what I might have missed. So red flags are certainly here, but family traditions and early conditioning of what I learned as a child. And um, pretty excited. So let me get started with a few of her definitions. Um, the permanent clinger. He's a needy, victim-based man who will give a woman a lot of attention in return for all his needs being met all the time. Um, he will convince you that he's been wounded and that you can heal him with your love. Does that sound familiar? He also might use guilt. Uh, women who have been overwhelmed have the overwhelming sensation that having the life sucked out of them. Sound familiar? How about the parental seeker? He wants a parent, not a partner. He needs so much that in fact, he needs you to run his life for him. He has a difficult time doing adult things like working, doing chores, making decisions, being consistent, or paying the bills. He gives you lots of attention, but he cannot function in the real world. I know someone like that. The emotionally unavailable man. With this person, um, he, there's always a reason that he can not fully commit to you. and um, But he's really happy to string you along. This is the type of person that might be married, separated, engaged, dating someone else, or just breaking up. And um, we all know this type, and it just, it's just a warning for us. A man with a hidden life. Um, he has undisclosed other lives that might include women, same-sex partners, children that you don't know about, um, and addictions. The mentally ill man. It can all look normal on the outside, but after you've dated them for a while, it becomes obvious that something's amiss. Um, and you convince yourself to that you can love him into wellness. And uh, personal experience, that doesn't really work so well. Um, the addict. Many women do not recognize up front that when someone has an addiction, they might just want to be fun-loving and like to party, but they can be very dangerous. The abusive or violent man. He starts out um, very attentive and giving, but then uh, Mr. Hyde appears. I always wondered if it was Jekyll or Hyde that was the bad one, but apparently now I know. Um, the controlling, blaming, shaming, harming, and perhaps hitting and, and violence. Um, abuse can be spiritual, emotional, physical, financial, or sexual. And um, he does this to get his way. This one is a, is, is a hot spot for me. Um, this is the emotional predator. He has a sixth sense about how women operate. He knows how to play a woman's woundedness. Important to know your woundedness factors, girls. Um, although his motives might be to prey on the women's financial or sexual vulnerabilities, um, he's called the emotional predator because he actually hunts for his victims by targeting their emotional vulnerabilities. He can sense a woman who have recently been dumped, hurt, or lonely, or sexually needy. 
He's a chameleon and he can be whatever the woman wants him to be. He's very tuned to the woman's body and eye language and the subtle messages behind her words. He can pick up hints about her life and turn himself into whatever she needs at that moment. When we look at descriptions of narcissists, many of these cross-populate. And um, she's actually got a word in here for um, men. She calls them the combo pack men. So um, I know this could apply for women as well. So um, men, don't get mad at me and leave me scary comments. Um, but let's make sure that you are continuing to learn. You can get most of these books at a library or on Amazon. And the more you learn that takes you out of just learning about narcissist abuse, the more you learn about everything that's out there, the stronger you're going to be. So that's all I wanted to tell you today. I'm excited for the book to arrive. I've already started my workbook and um, I hope to have a plan together on how to recognize all kinds of bad behavior, not just the narcissist, because we can't get stuck in that little mold. We have to be aware of it, we have to know about it, but um, there's a lot of other predators out there. So this is Tracy, that's all I've got. Happy Memorial Day weekend and uh, peace out. See you soon, thanks.